Let's imagine that you're vacationing in a small, remote cabin that sits gently near a lake surrounded by an old, dense forest. It is a peaceful place, a place where you can relax and recharge, but it's also a place that is fully, deeply alive. In the morning, you awake just as the light begins to come across the horizon. You sit on the porch, drinking a hot cup of tea or coffee, and watch as the light dances across the lake. As it begins to become lighter and lighter, you realize the morning has brought something else, something denser and more mysterious, the fog or mist. The fog rests gently over the water, and it rolls and boils throughout the entire forest around you. As you finish your drink, you feel inspired to take a walk around the lake and into the mist. Each step brings you deeper and deeper into the hidden landscape around you. Each step reveals a new rock, a new tree, a new vision that you've never seen before. You can feel the water and air dance around you. You've never felt more relaxed and more fully alive ever before. This is what I feel a satisfying spiritual practice is like. For me, a walk through the mist is a way to see the landscape in a new, fresh way. I can take the time to truly savor the small frames of nature around me. I feel the keen bite of adventure and unknown, even though I've walked the path a thousand times before. It is like spiraling within yourself, ever deeper, ever in new ways. And the more I learn and journey, the more I see and understand. My understanding is reflected not only in the way I see myself or treat others, but in the way I see the connections between my outer and inner world. I believe that this image of spiritual life is especially resonant with Druidry. Druidry encourages one to look at nature in all of its known and unknown facets in order to understand how you play into the grander connections. This observation and reflection brings a great sense of respect and reverence for the natural world. I love how the more I study and meditate in Druidry, the more I learn and the easier it is to incorporate those lessons into my daily life. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my reflection on the misty realms of spiritual life. In the comments below, I'd love to hear your own personal metaphor for your spiritual path. Thanks for watching Esoteric Moment.